This video will walk you through how to set an appointment with someone on campus. First clicking on the calendar button, I'll select New Appointment. Again, you'll notice the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and use the show area here. This will change the way my, my screen looks. I'm going to use Scheduling Assistant. This allows me to invite attendees and see their schedule. I'll go ahead and invite Tom Perryman. And you'll notice as I scroll across the page, if I wanted to set an appointment for Thursday, the 9th, you'll see that Tom is busy from 8 o'clock to 11. Now you'll notice it doesn't tell me what he's doing. I can see my schedule. When I mouse over my information, I have a class followed by an orientation. But if I mouse over Tom's information, nothing is there. I choose a time that works for both of us. I can adjust that time down here. I can also select my days. Let's say I want to look at the 22nd. Well, we look like we're wide open on the 22nd. How about 17th? Well, Tom is very busy there, so that won't work. So we'll go ahead and stick with uh, Thursday the 9th. And uh, we'll leave that at 12, and we'll make this go to uh, 115. If I click back, to my appointment tab, you'll notice this has been converted into an email. I'll go ahead and give it a subject, test appointment. And we'll have Tom delete the message. At this point, I can go ahead and send my message. And it's warned me that I didn't su uh, supply a location. So I'll go ahead and supply a location. Now I'll try and send it. If I go to my mailbox, A message will have gone out of my mailbox, and in this case, I get a message back that Tom is out of the office at this point. However, when Tom gets this message, he will then be able to accept it, decline it, or give me a tentative appointment, or he can actually suggest other dates. So it's as simple as that. That's how you can uh, make an appointment with anybody on campus. You can also use the distribution groups and make uh, appointments with everyone in a distribution group, such as science department or math department, upper school, etc. So now that I've sent that message to Tom, inviting him to a meeting, I can go to my calendar. If I look over on my Thursday date, the 9th, there it is, test appointment, please delete Tom's office, and the appointment was with me. If I open the message by double-clicking it, you'll see all the information about the meeting right here. I can change the time and send an update, or I can just check and see that he got, uh, that it is on my calendar. I can also use the tracking screen to show me what his response is. So if you have multiple people listed over here, you can see what the responses are for everyone who has, who you, whom you have invited. So that is how you use the meeting appointment part of Outlook 2007.